Greetings Southwest Florida. Thank you for joining me today. I'm Ray Burgess, Greatest Cape Administrator. Welcome to our Greatest Cape Events Rundown for the week ending Saturday, November 2nd, 2013. Friday's finally here, so let's talk uh, weekend fun. Since it is the first Friday of the month, you can uh, head downtown Fort Myers tonight, enjoy some coffee, conversation, and more, like checking out the latest art installations at Art Walk. Art Walk Fort Myers is a premier downtown art celebration, and it showcases both local as well as national artwork. With art exhibits, receptions, short plays, and more, the downtown galleries and other local businesses will stay open late for your business. And tonight, you can check out the opening of Lily Hatchet and Friends Global Warming Art Report, Hail Helios, non-political art exhibit and paper grotto performances. That's going on down at the Burn Art Center. But if art walks not for you, uh, remember that today is the start of the Calusa Blue Way Paddling Festival, where you can try out kayaks, canoes, uh, stand-up paddle boards, listen to speakers on paddle-related topics, enjoy local cuisine, and so much more. The festivities include competitive canoe and kayak races, as well as a kayak fishing tournament, paddling clinics, and demonstration. Admission tickets are $20 for adults and $12 for students. It's going on all weekend long. But if you really want to party uh, tonight in Cape Coral, then you must head for the Hot Havana Nights Dance Dinner, taking place at the Cape Coral Yacht Club, where you can step back in time to the glamorous nights of music and dancing at the hot nightclubs of Havana, Cuba. Spend an evening with the Beatty Latin Jazz Band and learn a few salsa dance steps, enjoy a sumptuous dinner of Latin food, and then dance the night away to the exciting rhythms of Latin music. The event is uh, BYOB, uh, so bailar, fiesta, enjoy. Admission is uh, $25 for adults and $15 for children, 12 and younger. Okay, Saturday morning. It's always perfect, and the weather should be right on cue for the Green Market Farmer's Market, taking place at the Alliance for the Arts in Fort Myers, where you can leisurely browse a great selection of green products each and every Saturday, locally grown, caught, cultivated foods, so many cool green products, and more live entertainment, local musicians, kids' activities, yoga, and tomorrow, a gardening class you'll want to attend market proprietor and all around a great guy Santiago and his green coaches will instruct you and lead a topic discussion on just how to grow the perfect tomatoes in Southwest Florida. All day Saturday in Fort Myers uh, you can check out uh, the Southwest Florida Reptile Expo taking place uh, at the uh, Araba Shrine Temple. The Calusa Herp Society presents a variety of reptiles and amphibians uh, for your enjoyment plus vendors selling feeders, cages, and accessories for your pets uh, at discounted prices. The admission is just $5 per person, and it's free for young men and women 10 years of age and younger. But if snakes and lizards uh, aren't your thing, you will probably enjoy the Vintage RV Show. You can discover the history of RVing in the beautiful Koreshian State Historic Site. Locals uh, may also bring in any vintage RV, car, truck, boat, etc. Uh, for a free uh, the day of the show, and it will be included in the program. Food and beverages will be available, and admission is just $5 per vehicle. Limit five, please. Sunday afternoon, if you're visiting our lovely Southwest Florida area, you're probably going to want to head over to the Jet Blue Park in South Fort Myers so you can check out Taste of the Town join the local Junior League of Fort Myers uh, as they present this annual food fest that features live bands, kids' activities, and of course, samples of food from about 40 of our sumptuous local restaurants. Uh, admission is just $5 per person. Kids 12 and under are free. If you want to find out more details about the events you heard me mention on today's Greatest Cape Events Rundown, as always, uh, you'll find uh, lots of uh, nightly local music, events taking place on our Facebook wall, but also at the Greatest Cape Southwest Florida and Cape Coral events calendar, which of course you'll find at greatestcape.net. 
Uh, if you uh, have an event you want to submit for us to mention, uh, you can do so via our Submit an Event link, which you will find on greatescape.net midway down in our left-hand facing column. Uh, also, we'd like to invite your support for our quest for a Chase, excuse me, Chase Mission Street grant. Uh, if you would be ever so kind as to click upon our banner at Greatest Cape or any of our other media channels, we'll really appreciate that. Until next Friday, Southwest Florida, when we'll uh, run down the Southwest Florida week's events once again. Stay safe. Enjoy the beautiful, lovely, and cooler weather we're having. And we'll look forward, as always, to seeing you online. Have a fantastic weekend, Southwest Florida. Happy Halloween. <laughs>